Okay, all you wonderful TPENers, we're going to have a special video blog today. It's um, one of my personal favorite topics, which is P. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to start this one off with a little bit of song for you guys, so here we go. It's going to be something special for you. Yo, I don't think we should talk about this. Come on, why not? People might misunderstand what we're trying to say, you know? Oh, that's a part of life. How's it going? Getting into the groove? Come on, let's talk about you. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about P. Let's talk about C. Let's talk about C. Let's talk about P. To the people at home or in the crowd, it keeps coming up anyhow. Don't decoy, avoid, or make void the topic, cause that ain't gonna stop it. Now just talk about sex on the radio and... Oops. <laughs> Let's tell it like it is and how it could be How it was and of course how it should be Those who think it's dirty have a choice Pick up the needle, press the cord, Or turn the radio off Will that stop us then? I doubt it Alright then, come on, spin Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about tea. tea Let's talk about sex Oops Let's talk about P Let's talk about C Hot to trust make any man die Pops to use what she got to get whatever she don't got Okay, we'll get into the actual blog here now. Thank you, Salt and Pepper. We love you. Um, okay, so this blog is about pee, as you might have noticed. No, it's not about sex. It's about pee. Um, and, uh, yeah, and it's about urine diversion toilets, because um, if we want to make use of our pee, that's the tool that we need to do so. So I've got some quotes now for us. Um, we've already installed the fabulous urine diversion toilet at the site office, which we've been using for a few months, and we're really happy with it. And um, now you'll see a little bit more of that on site in the next clip. So let's have a look at um, what's going on at the site and with those wonderful toilets. And then we'll come back to a little bit about the costs and so on and so forth. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, today, we're going to have a little story about you and me, Pooh and Pee. Um, as you all know, this is one of my personal favorite topics. And I am very thankful to Florence Catton for being my absolute guru on this stuff. So I've learned a lot. She's still the uber guru. But um, anyways, it's a really important topic. Um, and it's something in terms of developing Tamil Patanu and building your homes that uh, we need to kind of consider quite deeply because there's, there's a lot of different options and it really depends on what you want to do and how you want to do it. But I just want to give you a little bit of background first. Um, so we did, a while ago, we did some initial calculations and what we found was that um, based on international standards, someone with a protein-rich diet, so someone who's not vegetarian, generally produces about 1.2 liters of urine every single day. And then someone who's vegetarian will produce about 1.03 liters per day. So we worked it out based on, you know, if there's approximately 80 people living at Tawan Patanu, which, you know, likely if, you know, the 20 homes are developed, it might be even more than that over time. We'll see. Kira Kirala. We would be producing 55,243 liters of urine per year. 55,243. Okay, check it out. That's what's in this graph here. Um, in the t Permaculture Strategies for Water and Earthworks book, which you can download from the website. Um, now, why is that important? It's, it's important because, meanwhile, at the same time, as you all know, Earth, the soil, is becoming really, really depleted of nutrients. So. Um, it's harder and harder and harder to grow things. 
um, without using chemicals and so on and so forth. It's because the soil is being stripped. It doesn't have enough nutrient. And one of the main things that you need to grow a lot of vegetables is nitrogen. And there's a lot of nitrogen in urine. So we also have, in the same book, we have some, st some stats um, which are based on some really deep studies um, from FAO and a lot of other sources. Thank you, Flo, for sharing that with us. Which, in a nutshell, says that if you used um, one to ten parts urine, so one part urine to ten parts water when you're irrigating your vegetable crops, um, after four months, if, if you were using water only, after four months, a tomato would be 1,680 grams, okay? If you used it three to one water urine three times a week, the same tomato would be 6,084 grams. So pretty, basically six times the weight just because you mixed a bit of urine in there because that's the nutrient that the soil needs which the plant then feeds from. So this is a big thing about urine, you know, uh, recuperation. So it's something that, we, you know, is really rare. People don't talk about it very much. They do, there's composting toilets and there's all sorts of things, but urine recuperation means you need to keep the urine separated from the feces. So I'd like to introduce you to a really good friend of mine whose name is Urine Diversion Toilet, <laughs> who is right here. Santi, would you mind coming up over here? And we're going to say hi to all the wonderful Taman Patanu folks. And um, Toilet's going to say, hi, everyone. Um, OK, so basically, there's two different versions. One is the dry composting version, which is this one, which is very simple. Basically, the pee goes this way, and the poo goes that way. And um, the pee goes through this little hole, down a special pipe, into a collection tank. Whereas the poo would go down into your composting system below your toilet. Meanwhile, if we take a, just a short walk over this way to the wonderful Tamapatanu site office, you will see we imported one of each type to test them out, um, learn about them, and so on and so forth. So th this is the flush version of the same thing. So um, in this one, um, it's like a regular flush toilet, except it isn't. And the reason it isn't is that it uses the, the lowest water use toilet in Indonesia, the lowest, OK, uses, which you mean you press the little button, it uses, um, if I'm not mistaken, 2.5 or 3 liters and then the big button is like 4 to 6 liters every time you flush that toilet okay that's a lot of water do the math this toilet when you press the little button you're only flushing 0 0.4 liters of water it is the most water efficient toilet on the planet and when you press the big button you're flushing I think it's 2.3 or something like that I'll, I'll put the actual data on the website for you guys. Um, so same, same sort of principle. You can see inside the, inside the toilet here. There's a hole for the urine, and then everything else goes down the other hole. So here I'll flush it. Oh. So you can see that's a very efficiently designed flush that is quick and does not use a lot of water. And we love these toilets, and we really want to use them at Tama Patanu. I'm going to be using some at my house. Um, and I'm hoping very much that there's other people who are interested. This is a great example of what eco means and how to practice eco. And um, the, they're good quality toilets, too. These ones are from a company called Wasman in Sweden. And the dry ones we looked at before are from an NGO in the Philippines. Um, I'll give a little more information soon about the pricing and the options. The main thing is that if we place a big order, the cost of importing it drops dramatically. So if we all get together and say, OK, I want one, and I want three, and I want two, and I want six, and so on, and we pull that order and we do it all at one time, it's going to be a lot cheaper for everyone. 
And if we do it piecemeal, um, small quantity orders are expensive because you have to import them and so on and so forth. So anyways, that's why this video blog is going out. Aside from the fact that we love the toilets and we're so excited to show them to you, um, it's also about, you know, us talking together about do we want to do this group order for these toilets because we kind of need to do it now because the common facilities is part of that group order and we'll be ready to install the toilets there relatively soon. Okay. Okay, so here's a little bit more kind of technical information about the toilets. Um, okay, so why is this so important? I know you've heard a little bit about that so far, but just in more detail, a regular toilet uses about six liters of water. That's every time you flush. Um, and the most water efficient toilet that we found in Indonesia called the Toto Eco Flush uses 4.5 or 3 liters depending on which side of the button you push. That's the double button thing. The Wasman urine diversion toilet that we found, we looked at a lot of different options and this is the best one that we came up with, uses um, 0.32 liters for the small flush and 0 0.8 liters for the big flush. So that's like yeah, 10% of the same water. So if you're rainwater harvesting, for example, your water is really precious, and that's something you really, really, really are going to um, find to be very useful. And of course, there's, you know, the water shortage issues in Bali, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's a really important um, issue with this product. Um, the other thing that you can do with the UDT is you can recuperate the urine, so you can use that urine. The, basically, the way it works is if you look here, here's the toilet bowl inside the UDT. There's the big hole, which is where the other stuff goes. And there's the little hole where the um, urine goes. And then the urine will go down that hole into a storage tank, basically. So you can, you can store it and keep it. Um, so, you know, the golden question, how much do these things cost? Um, we've, you know, done a lot of work trying to find uh, solutions for this. And there's a guy named Stavros who imported uh, the two samples that we have on site, which you saw earlier. Um, one is the flush system, the other is the, the dry compost system. Um, in the table below, you can see uh, what the cost comes in at landed in Bali at Taman Patanu ready to use. Um, it really, really depends on the quantity that we order, which is the reason you're getting this information now, because we're trying to put a group order together so we can get the price down for everyone. Um, so yeah, if we can get it up to 36 or above, we're down to like, you know, just under 6 million per toilet. But if, you know, we only bring in a few, what we need for the common facilities, it'll be expensive. So hopefully um, some of you will be interested in joining this order. I'm definitely joining the order. Um, and then for the, the dry version, um, these are the numbers depending on the quantity. So yeah, again, a huge, huge difference between the larger order and the smaller order in terms of what it would cost. Um, all this information is also on the website, so you can um, read it in a more leisurely pace than this video blog. But just to give you a sense, you know, like under 2 million versus over 10 million, depending on how many we order. It's a, it's a really big difference. Um, one of the questions people have is, you know, how does this compare to normal toilet prices? Toto is a company that produces toilets that are um, really commonly used in Indonesia that are reliable. I mean, there's cheaper stuff on the market, but I personally wouldn't go for it just because um, break broken toilets is not a cool thing to have. So yeah, Toto, you're looking between 3.7 to 9.2 for their average toilet range. So, you know, the UDTs, even after the importing and all the costs and da da da, they're still definitely within range if we get the larger quantity order going together. Um, if, just a few other things to note about UDTs. Um, if you decide you're going to use one, you want to let your architect or your builder know 
because there's a bit of extra piping involved. You need a storage tank for the uh, urine itself and a way to access it, so a siphoning system. Um, and that needs to be designed into your home plans. Um, you also need some space located uh, lower than the toilets if you want to gravity feed the urine into the storage tanks. Um, you'll also need to resize your black water treatment systems because um, they don't need to be as big because a lot of it is urine that goes in there so that can now you know be smaller than you would normally have planned for. And then the other big question people have been asking is you know what do we do with all the urine? Well you, I mean you can use it on your gardens at your home and um, any surplus can be brought over to the Tone Potano Eco Farm and uh, it'll be super, super valuable to have it there as a resource for all the veggie growing and so on that'll be happening over there. Um, if you want to learn more, uh, get into more detail, you can go to the, the Wasman uh, website. These are the guys that make the toilets. Um, it's a Swedish company. Most of the information's in Swedish, but they have an, a link for English information that kind of, sort of works, so you can try clicking on there. This is the URL. It's www.wastman.se. And um, on the page that we'll make on the members-only website, we'll put this fact sheet which talks about you know how to install the toilet and the technical specifications, which you can show to your architect or building team. Um, so what's next? We need to place this order now because it, it takes a few months to process the order and the shipping and so on. So um, the common facilities are going to need the toilets on site pretty soon. So we're putting a deadline of Sunday, September 30th for everybody, that's the end of this month, for everybody to decide if they want to join this group order and if so, to let us know how many toilets they want to order and whether they're the flush ones or the um, dry ones. And then after we get everybody's feedback, we'll let you know how many uh, toilets are planned in the system and therefore what the price is. And we'll be asking you to make your payments into the Taman Patanu bank account soon thereafter so we have the money on hand to process the order. Um, we'll find, depending on how big the order is, we'll find some space or create some space on site to store the toilets until you're ready to use them on your site um, and install them. And finally, you do have another option, which is that to try and uh, get the numbers up for this order, I've invited um, Richard, who owns a company in Bali that does, you know, water efficiency um, product sales. So he, we're buying the the rainwater harvesting fixtures and also some uh, water efficient sanitary fittings like showers and stuff like that from him. So he's interested in looking at maybe becoming a Bali distributor. In which case, he might jump on our order, and um, then you could probably buy the toilets from him later. But of course, there'll be a markup on it. So if you really want to, you know get it at the best price possible, the best thing to do is to join this order that we're doing um, early next month. So that's it, and look forward to hearing back from you on uh, Wonderful P, and um, love you guys. Okay, bye for now.